Y'all look at me. Coochie sweating. Ladies! Ladies! Um, as you guys could see, the 28 pieces off, okay? Um, <laughs> I actually spent all day yesterday, I washed my hair, um, which was part of my Sunday reset. Um, I spent literally an hour in the shower. I didn't have any conditioner or shampoo, but the, thank God the hotel did. Um, but I washed my hair and then I also styled it with some gel um, to give these voluminous curls. Um, my curls look different. I love. I kind of love it because I feel like it's it's getting back to what I want it to be. But you know, it is a day to day process, of course. Um, but if you guys see by this video um, that I'm inserting, um, I was just literally peeling the hair apart one by one, one by one, one by one, and it was showing its radiance. Okay, but this is the back. This is the first day I feel like by the second or third day um the hair will be a lot more poofy and that's kind of um that's kind of what I want it to do um to be quite honest with you I kind of want like that natural poofy look um but anyways um I got my high packs on I'm actually going to show you guys um the brand that it is it's actually my beauty spot nourish and shine rose hip hydro gel eye mask it does have a set of six. Does it have six in it or? Okay, yeah, it actually does have six in it. So um, I'm probably gonna do this two times this week. So Monday and Thursday, these are actually the eye masks that I've been looking for because the other eye masks that I showed you guys on like my facial routine were um, like a paper just submerged in whatever they put on it. But I kind of just wanted the, the gel ones, so. I'm going to put this under my eye for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and then during my 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to meditate. So this is basically just going to be like a, it's a Monday vlog. So what it is that I got going on today, um, just going to do my regular morning routine. And then um, <laughs> and then I'm going to um, meditate and then go to the gym. So yeah, so that is basically the plan for today. I really don't have anything else on the agenda because Lex is gone and I really don't like to move around on the city like that without her. So I might just catch up on some stuff. So let's get into the day. I have my morning tea. I had some passion, passion tea today. Kind of like very sweet, which I don't know. I kind of like just the ginger taste, the ginger tea taste. Let's get into it. Boy, did I break a sweat today, y'all. Jesus. Y'all, look at me. Coochie sweating. Everything is fucking sweating. I went in on that video for y'all, though. So, ladies, if you want to know any of the workouts that I do to keep my body together for the summer, if you want guys want results free results i'm showing you guys all the workouts that have worked for me so stay tuned to that i might post this video before i post that video so stay tuned either way so turn on those post notifications i'm back in the room i'm still trying to cool down a little bit but i went downside downstairs <laughs> to heat up my rigatoni that i had from yesterday and i'm just gonna eat it because there is no microwave in the room and if you know me you know i don't like cold food i like my food super hot except chicken 
yeah except chicken i don't like warmed up chicken i've been having gas like these last couple of days like at night i feel like like my my bottom stomach is withholding gas some type of gas i don't know if it's because of something that i'm drinking or because of the tea that i've been drinking if you're wondering why my hair is like this it's because i'm trying to stretch out my hair without using heat on it so it's really giving florida kodak <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this tea is supposed to be apple flavor. I wanted to try it with you guys because I don't think I've ever had apple flavored tea before. Um, it smells like apple, um, so let's taste it. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> All right, y'all, so <clears throat> checking back in with you guys. I just showered, um, shaved my body. And yeah, still got the weird hair thing going on. Like I told y'all, I'm trying to stretch out my hair with no heat um, without fucking up my curls. So don't mind the hairstyle. Part of this um, vlog today, um, it's basically like a Monday just reset, um, getting back on track and things like that. It is a new week. I don't know about y'all, but June has been going by so freaking quick. It's like, it's about to be July 4th. Like, where has time been going, okay? And it's kind of bittersweet because then my girl season starts and then she's gonna have to be away. And it's just, y'all, I just want it to like slow down just a tad bit, just a little bit, please just slow down please but i just wanted to go through a couple of things with you guys as you guys know me i did my healthy habits um from january to july um or was it june january february march april may june okay so to june so this is actually the last month that i did here i came up with just a list of things that i wanted to do for the next six months and truth be told i've kind of been very consistent with it i've been very consistent with posting videos for you guys and i'm just so proud of myself um i don't know just starting the year with a clear mind and um and wanting different goals for myself and kind of seeing myself live in that dream um that i want for myself so been super consistent with that and i've been feeling very very good doing it as well i'm on to the june to the June month so don't mind it because I usually have it it's all crumbled up y'all and it sucks because I left it on the bed the other day and forgot that it was in the bed when I fell asleep and I move around a lot when I'm asleep so it's kind of a little crumbled but uh we gonna look past that I've just been marking up all the days that I've been working out um just been marking days in my planner um that i was you know posting youtube videos drinking my water so i've been staying on track the last couple of months and i am so 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 proud of myself um so i'm going to show you guys from january i know that in december started my cleanse so i've been consistent with that and then i just want you guys to kind of see like my progression like this started my cleanse and I've been writing in my planner ever since I started my healthy habits and just on and on and on, just highlighting the parts, um, the days that I've been working out. I've been trying to reach goals and I've been meeting goals. Um, and honestly, it don't matter whether it comes fast or slow. I appreciate everything. Like I appreciate the journey in itself. We are on the road to 1800 last week was definitely a fun-filled week the last couple of weeks that i've been here in mexico honestly have been fun-filled um i've been like i don't know i've i've gotten like a boost of energy and it's i i, I don't know i've just been living you know i've just been living enjoying every bit of it enjoying like moments where i'm around people enjoying moments where i'm by myself like i've just been living okay doing me not stressing myself out too much and just planning accordingly and staying spiritual, staying spiritual, meditating, praying, um, getting in that Bible, doing a lot of Bible study, um, 
this week for June, um, I did, I mean, this month of June, I did want to do Bible study more often, get into that Bible, learn more about the Bible a lot more instead of just doing it one time a week. I, I wanted to set my goal to two times a week, 30 minutes a day, you know what I'm saying? Um, and sometimes I'd be feeling guilty because I might, it might not cross my mind or, you know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I might be like, uh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Maybe I'll push it back to this time and then I end up not doing it. So bad. Um, but I've been doing a lot more Bible study and it's really, really beneficial to just keep um, multiple books. Um, like I keep my planner and then I keep this book. This book is more so for like Bible study, me keeping track of different type of things, like my goals that I want for this week. And then I have a YouTube book, which I didn't bring with me. Um, so I've been keeping like my YouTube titles and like things that I like my ideas for my YouTube in here. And to be honest, since I've been out here, I've crossed out five of those things. So when I got here, um, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight videos that I wanted to complete and within the last week or last two weeks that I've been here I've um I've edit I've done edited and posted five videos so I'm very very proud of myself when it comes to that like I feel like I want to talk to myself I think you know a notebook is a great way to just keep um your stuff sacred and just write my last bible study um I was just basically reading I've been reading through um, the Bible and I'm still at Genesis um, because I tend to have different things that I want to talk about um, different things that I want to study while I'm doing Bible study um, I don't want to just do the basics and read through the Bible and then you know I feel like when you are dissecting it you got to dissect it the way that you want to I know that where I want to be and the things that I want for, for myself are starting to attract and I could feel it. I could feel something coming. God is telling me, let's be still. Don't rush. It's coming. So also on my June list, um, I did want to start reading a book. Um, I do have a couple of books that I picked up from the library. It was honestly a couple of months ago, if not next last year, a couple of months ago before I started traveling again. And <clears throat> I went to the library and they had like a bookcase with like free books. So I just started grabbing books. I got this book, it's called Olive's Ocean. I really wanted to start reading it this week. Um, and you know me, them AR points back in the day, best believe your girl was getting them AR points. Best believe I was reading a book, like it seemed like three books every week, okay? I was always at the library. It's so funny because like you think back and you like, wow, I was really that kid. Like I was really that kid that was in the library, reading books, getting straight A's. I've been staying very consistent with my working out. Um, so stay tuned for my workout video, like I told you guys, just some workouts that have really helped me um, slim down my stomach, um, get my booty right. People have been asking me like, you got your booty done? Absolutely not absolutely not i did not get my booty done thank you um yeah so it'd be funny to hear when people say that um because they'd be like oh it looked like you put on some put on some weight did you get your booty done absolutely not this is a a naturally grown booty okay this is what a naturally grown booty is supposed to look like so it's kind of cute to hear too um i've also said that i wanted to sleep and wake up earlier i'm not gonna lie the last couple of days I have not been sleeping that good. I don't know if it's because I'm away from my girlfriend. I'm so used to sleeping with her, but I have not been sleeping that good. So have I been waking up earlier the last couple of days? No, <laughs> because I've been going to sleep late. So then I've been trying to, you know, gain that time back by sleeping in a little bit. So let's get it together as far as youtube i feel like i've been on top of my game with youtube like posting videos for you guys talking to you guys engaging with you guys like i've just i felt like i've been doing my thing with that so we're gonna give that an a plus because you've been doing your thing i'm actually going to post up on the bed and i gotta watch my girls game at eight or six i don't know what time it it's supposed to be but so yeah, I think that's basically the only thing that I'll be doing today besides reading this book. I do want to give time to read this book. 
um and i've also been getting into like watching okay so i've been watching all the queen's men um on bt plus and my girlfriend's been telling me like time and time again you should watch it you should watch it she's been telling me this for a minute and then i finally actually sat down and watched it and i actually pretty i like it it's it's a little intense um very very graphic um but i've been actually watching that and i've also started it's crazy because i grew up watching girlfriends but i never really like paid attention to girlfriends to where it like every episode kind of overflows to the next episode i thought it was just an episode okay it's done the next episode then it's done but i actually took the time the other day to actually watch a couple of episodes before i went to sleep and i was like super engaged and that's probably the reason why i haven't been going to sleep early because i've just been in tune with these these shows lately and i realized in girlfriends like her friends i don't know her friends were really not that good <laughs> friends <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. So I'm heading down to get my food from Chili's. I look like a motherfucking robber. <laughs> That'll be the only time that I'll be in this room today. The rest of the night I'm in here. Um honestly time is buying going by so freaking quick. It's about 7 30. I gotta get ready to watch Alexa's game in about 30 minutes. So I'm just about to eat this, um, finish the rest of this vlog. I've really been watching vlogs this whole time. I kind of like watching everybody's vlog and seeing the difference, the differences and like the comparisons and stuff. I ended up getting a chicken bowl from Chili's. It don't look like a chicken bowl <laughs> right now because it looks like it got squished. But it came with avocado lettuce um spanish rice tomatoes corn cheese and beans i wish it didn't have the beans but the cheese is like melted so all i'm gonna do is i'm really just gonna mix all this up like a chipotle bowl really and that's honestly what i've been craving i've been craving either that or a taco i mean like a burrito but the burritos don't really look like, I, I hate having to like go on Uber Eats and you can't edit it the way that you want it, like what you want on it and what you don't. So I really be like picky and scared to order that kind of shit because what if I don't like it? And then I also got a California style cheese cheesecake. It's California style, not New York style, but California. And I guess it came with, Mm. it's actually really good and it came with some strawberry sauce the guy that or that bring my order was on a motorbike so i'm assuming that's the reason why my food's all over the place <laughs> but yeah that's all i'm about to do today y'all that rice bowl was not even all that y'all that shit was not all that <laughs> So this is the cheesecake and what it looks like. It's actually a very huge slice, believe it or not. Let's see if this is better than New York. New York. It's definitely super creamy. I think I taste the cheese more, which I think that's, I don't like that, but best believe your girl like cheese, but uh, I don't want to have to taste it, taste it. But I didn't pour it all over it because I'm not going to eat all this. Mm. Been good. I'm just going to leave the syrup in here. I could do one more bite. Maybe two more. Mm. 
because you know your girl don't worked out today. That's good. Having a little drinky drink before bed because I deserve it. Um, I actually got to chapter 15 on the book that I'm reading. Um, all I'm really gonna do is watch the rest of this game here. The score is 50 to 47. I'm hoping they win this game for sure. Bring my baby back tomorrow. Um, so I'm just gonna relax and end the night with you guys. Um, I hope all in all that you guys enjoyed this beautiful vlog, but I am about to go to bed. So without further ado, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye.